Hey man, what's up? <laughs> hey man, I yeah. What's up? Have you ever heard of Yasuku Mezawa? Huh? Yasuku Mezawa. Yes. Also known. Mezawa. Also known as MZ. Maybe you know him. MZ. Yeah, maybe you know him by that name. MZ. No, I don't. But that's super cool. Do you know um? If someone introduced themselves to me as MZ. Yeah, that's tight. That is that's super cool. I agree with that. Do you, you might know him by um, uh, one of his projects uh, known as Dear Moon. Have you heard of that? What are you looking at? The camera. <laughs> Why? Dear Moon. Yeah, Dear Moon. It's is that a- that children's book that we all read? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Moon. <laughs> yeah, that is the reference. <laughs> no. Billionaires either got to go up or down. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just so unhappy with being on Earth. <laughs> Don't Would you put pages. Steve Aoki in the top 11 artists of the world? <laughs> a suit, <laughs> an ankle, ankle brace. brace. Oh, polka, polka dots. dots. Are you guys oh, getting you get it? The You're solution. telling me the Steve Jobs <laughs> stole his whole speech. <laughs> Things I learned last night. Okay, what is Dear Moon? Dear Moon. Well, we need to talk about Yasuku first. Okay, who is Yasuku? We'll get to Dear Moon. Uh, ya, ya, sak, yasaku. Yasaku. Yasaki was born in 1975 in Japan. Okay, I just want everyone to just appreciate the pivot that Tim just did. <laughs> we need to talk about Yasoku first. <laughs> so Yasaku was born in like <laughs> chill out, bro. Sorry, sorry. Born when? Uh, 1975. Okay. November 22nd. Okay. Uh, in Japan. Um, and he uh, had a normal Japanese upbringing. Uh, in high school, he started a hardcore band called Switch Style. Um, <laughs> and uh, was going to go to college, but was too excited about his band switch style. And then him and his switch girlfriend style. thought it'd be sweet to live in America. So they moved to America for three years. Sure. Which was hard to s- sustain his band. He had to fly back for band practice. I don't know. It, I think the band broke the up. The band was in Japan. The band was in Japan. Uh, <laughs> okay. That sounds like <laughs> that sounds like a um, it was a Japan band. Yeah, but the, the, that phrase, the band was in Japan. That sounds like like uh, there's always money in the banana stand. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. It rhymes. It's good flow. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The band was in Japan. Okay, so you know in Asia they call them bandas. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I hate that a lot. I hate that a lot. Um, so anyway, that's so fine. He, you don't gotta like all of them. He moved to the U.S. <laughs> and while I was in the U.S., he fell in love with CDs and records, um, which okay. is an important feature of his life. Um, started collecting both. Um, sure. Lived in the U.S. for like three years. Went back to Japan. Started the band back. What up. year was that? Um, in '91. Early '90s. Oh, wait, no. He's living in the United States. '93. '93. Okay. He moves to the U.S. and then moves back to Japan in '95. Okay. Um, and then while he's there, he remembers my band switch style. <laughs> so he starts his band back up and they have decent success. They released three albums. They got decently big in Japan, but not like huge. Okay. But then he remembers CDs and records. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so he takes what he learned about selling CDs and records and he starts a company uh, known as start today, um, which eventually became Japan's equivalent to Amazon. Uh, oh, very major online retailer uh, went public on the stock market um, uh, in 2004 and then started uh, his new company. Zozo town. <laughs> okay, that was so dramatic, <laughs> but all right. Zozo town, which I want to take a second to see if you could guess what Zozo town was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what year did he found it? Uh, it would have been two thousand four. Two thousand four starts <laughs> Zozo Town. Zozo, Zozo Town. Town is a first social media network, um, and this predates Facebook. And so he was trying to create a social media network to connect 
people and sell music through it. You're incredibly close. So it's a social media uh, website for zookeepers. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a social media website for clowns. <laughs> Zozo the clown. He Zozo said, town. Facebook said if we could get the college kids, we could get everyone. He said if we could. He get said the if clowns. we could get the circus clowns. <laughs> you guys don't understand. You're thinking too small. You're thinking too small. College campuses. No, you got to get the. You got to get the 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 carnies. You got to get the freaking audiences. You got to get the, the new the city outcasts. every week. A new city every week. What do you? What do you ah, think bigger? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Follow me on Zozo town. <laughs> You know, or whatever <laughs> clowns sound like. Um, here, I'll give you this. Here's one of the most profitable things he ever created with Zozo Town. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Zozo suit. This is just not flattering <laughs> at all. Uh, is that Candace Owens? <laughs> this is the Zozo suit, um, which is the. Th- okay, it goes over your feet. The, for listeners, it looks it's a black suit with white dots all over it. It looks like you've seen the behind the scenes for how they do animation yeah. movies. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. There's that guy with the suit with the green dots all over him. It's that, but it's style. Yeah, and there's three people in what I can describe as the Brady Bunch background <laughs> <laughs> and they're in a this is a one piece suit. Where does it zip? Does it zip? <laughs> I think you have to crawl it through the neck do you, hole. <laughs> what do you do? You crawl in through the neck hole. The heels are cut out. The toes are cut out. Yeah, that's like freaking weird. Braces. And then you just vacuum it sealed yeah. to your body. It's so it's got, tight. It's got fingerless gloves too. It's so tight. <laughs> it is so and tight. not tight and like a that's tight. It really is like it's a, it really tight. is like those storage bags. It is you stick the vacuum it is to it. It's like not <laughs> flattering <laughs> and I'm not gonna comment on the models. So yeah, so this idea was worth um well what was the number? I want to say it was like mm, three point seven billion dollars. Um who okay <laughs> this concept. So here's what Zozo Town is. You imagine <laughs> you become a billionaire and when people other billionaires go, how did you become one of us? You got to say Zozo suit <laughs> Zozo suit and they go. Oh, is that something you wear to go see the Titanic? <laughs> and you go. No, no. <laughs> uh, when he when he walked out on stage for the press conference for this, he said, imagine was he wearing one? Yeah, he said he said he said <laughs> he said we're making a suit an ankle brace <laughs> polka dots <laughs> a suit an ankle, ankle brace polka, polka dots. dots are you guys Why getting you get it <laughs> that it's all one, one suit <laughs> <laughs> introducing the Zozo, the Zozo suit. suit you're telling me that Steve Jobs <laughs> stole his whole speech <laughs> It hit harder for jobs. So Zozo so Town was a fashion brand. Zozo Town was an online fashion retailer, one of the first uh, commercially successful online fashion retailers. They were really early to the game, two thousand four. What is that, Zozo? <laughs> yeah, is that a Zozo? And this this device um, device don't call it a device. It is a device. This is the Zozo suit, and this was a sizing device. And so you would put this on, and you would take pictures in it, and it would tell you your exact size. And send you the most accurate. That size. makes so much more sense. <laughs> <laughs> that makes w- so much more sense. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you put this on, take pictures from every angle, upload it, and then it would be like, "You're a size nine. Here you go. Buy this shirt." Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, so the computer can tell how far apart the white dots are then. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's actually okay. Pretty sure. Cool. I'll allow that pretty cool. Uh, so this is used in 72 countries. And worldwide CDs right led to this CDs. Yeah, because his he it, it, it was kind of like Amazon. Amazon started with books. He started with CDs and records on his start okay. today. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um, he also uh, in 2012 um, Hold on. Hold on. 
<laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We're holding. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I don't. I just didn't notice this on the Wikipedia article before. Uh, this is a little mean, but I need to show you the picture of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is a little mean, but I need to show you the picture of this guy. <laughs> Zozo suit. He's also wearing checkered vans because I think he thinks they match. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get what's funny about this, Tim. <laughs> yes, you do. I don't. Yes, I don't get what's do. funny about you this. You do. You do. You do. This is like when your dad says, "Here, take a picture of me." <laughs> and he's got your classic dad pose, chest out too far. Checkered vans. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I look like a totally normal picture of somebody who is giving a product review. <laughs> okay. Um, so in- let me see the behind, though. <laughs> <laughs> let me see the back view. <laughs> I got to know what the dots look like. What do the dots look like on the back? Back of Zozo suit. <laughs> Zozo suit biceps. <laughs> <laughs> These are getting pretty sophisticated now. I'm not gonna Wait, lie. They here's, still exist. Yeah, here's a current. Here's a current model. They used a similar background in this one. Um, they only opted for one color in this version of the background. But these look. These look more like um, you're gonna get on a ship and they're gonna put you to sleep for seventy hundred. Years, <laughs> seventy hundred years. <laughs> oh, and then they're gonna wake you up when you get to. Okay, these are all animated people. Those aren't real people. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I'm right. <laughs> but but I think their faces are real. I think they, no, they're not. I think they put different hair on them than the okay. original. Yeah, look at those feet, dude. I hope none of those people are real. <laughs> Is this not the Sims? <laughs> this so basically, this new suit looks like TV static compared to the old suits. Yeah, interesting. Oh, uh, here's well, that's just the man. I can't find a full back shot of this. Yeah, because there's no the way suit. the bearded guy's face is that round and his torso is like that. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because I understand how Talk bodies to me about work. proportions. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, so the Zozo suit, uh, great idea, I guess. Um, oh, fiddle off. Then. Is that it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm telling you more about this guy. So okay. This guy, he also started. Get this off the screen, then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you like this, we've got a lot of great ones. Let me recommend a recent one, Hitchbot. Uh, basically, some Canadian scientists said, what if we made a robot that hitchhiked across the country? You think it could make it? Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, it's a fun episode. I like it a lot. Uh, you need to check it out. One of my favorite recent jokes is in there, uh, so check that one out. But if not, thanks for being here. He also started um, a contemporary art foundation um, uh, where he has made uh, two of the largest uh, mm, basket purchases. Um, basket. No. <laughs> B A S K. I would like to buy the largest baskets I can to hold like, all my Zozo I'd suits. Like to buy the biggest basket you've got in this container store. <laughs> basket. 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 Say it right. How much Gosh, for this basket? Uneducated American. People. That's like a thirty dollar basket. I'll give you fifty four million for it. <laughs> I'll have to run that by my manager. I'm not sure how to charge you this much for this. <laughs> when I scan it, it says thirty. I don't know how many to... zeros is that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a lowly person. <laughs> Put on a Zozo suit. It'll help. <laughs> they make you smarter. <laughs> Jimmy into it. <laughs> so, okay. So yeah, no, he he made two of the largest purchases. He actually purchased um a painting called The Untitled by Basquate for 57 million. Um and then Jeez. he uh bought another one also called Untitled by Basquate, but it's Basquate just didn't like giving different, titles to <laughs> It's their... a different picture uh, for 110 million. Um 
and he bought Holy a bunch of other cow. paintings. So he's like a, a like a fine art collector, and he's got this foundation where he's got all this different art and stuff like that. Sure. Um, <clears throat> and in 2019, he said, "You know what? Um, I'm a billionaire now. Yeah, um, I've made my successes." He says, "I'm going to sell my ownership of the company, um, which he sold for about 3.7 billion dollars." Jeez. Um, and he said, "Now it's on to the next thing." <laughs> Like many billionaires today, space. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Um, so he, billionaires either got to go up or down. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just so unhappy with being on Earth <laughs> that they're like, I gotta, either I, I go, gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go the deepest depths of the ocean or the tippy top of space. But here's the thing: he has an angle. He's different than most other billionaires. He's not just trying Have to start a space company. Two? Yeah, not that I've like halfway through this new season. Oh, really? Have yeah, you yeah, seen yeah. the billionaire episode where she goes on dates with some rich guys? No, I haven't seen. And that one. she's on dates with like a boring old millionaire, <laughs> and he gets a call in the middle of dinner that he's now a billionaire. Yeah, and she goes to the restroom and comes back, and he shaved his head bald, <laughs> and his he's got so much plastic surgery, and his eyes look really weird, <laughs> and he's climbing those ceilings. <laughs> and he's like, "Look how high I am! Look how <laughs> look how high I am!" And she's like, "What?" And then they get in a spaceship, and he's like, "Look how high I am!" You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we watched. We watched. Uh, it's a great show. I love when they're at the premiere. This new and season's like, so it's, good. It's about to start, and then they go or like, whatever. They're like, "Hey, this was per- this. You guys got to get out of here. You're not trespassing. This was just bought by a what was it? It was, uh, it was something oh, really like a funny. Starbucks. A Starbucks, dude. I I died. <laughs> it's a great and then show. they were like, "Was that the scene?" <laughs> He's like that was the scene. Did you see that Disney unironically did that this week though? No. Like with the new Element movie, there's a non-binary character in it, uh-huh. and it's like not clear at all that it's a non-binary character. Oh, interesting. Like it's just kind of like yeah, yeah, it just is. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And like, do you think that they knew about it when they wrote the other two? Oh, because I found out on Twitter when the voice actor was like, I just got the voice the first non-binary character in Disney and like people said they watched the movie and didn't know they, had they no were idea. like, oh, oh, okay, huh? But the character is not a human. It is a it's a gloop. It's a gloop. It's 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 the bit interesting. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> so anyway, okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> That's what billionaires do. That's what I'm saying. They just go to space. They just go to space. But here's the thing: he's got an angle. He's not just going to space. He's doing different things. What's he going to do? So, well, first of all, he's already been. Uh, so he's been once. He went in uh, early, uh, mid 2021. Um, this is why he's got this picture in the space suit already. Right. Um, Did he have to wear a Zozo suit? To get the right measurements for his <laughs> space did. suit, he did get zozoed. Uh, Yasuka is a a Twitter personality. Um, okay, he has one hundred ninety one thousand followers on Twitter, um, but he all he holds the record, uh, the number one and the number two record for most retweeted tweet. Um, oh, because uh, one time, well, two times, uh, he tweeted he was going to give a million yen to the first hundred people to retweet this, or no, to a hundred random people who retweet this. Um. And so a lot of people retweeted it. And he did broke he the record. do it? Actually, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if he did give the money away, um, but a million yen come or uh, I mean, I guess four million people retweeted the tweet um, for when he said he was going to give uh, one million yen to a uh, hundred people. I'm going to give my best friend's house. <laughs> To the first hundred people. To one of the, <laughs> to first, the first hundred people. One hundred people <laughs> who retweet this. No, don't say first one hundred. Say to one hundred random people who retweet this, because that's what he did. It was a hundred random people, so that way it didn't matter how many to one hundred <laughs> random people who retweet this. Wait, so you're giving the house to a hundred different people? Uh huh. Yeah, you can split deeds. I'm gonna give my best friend's house to a hundred <laughs> random people who retweet this. <laughs> That's out there. So he got four million people to retweet that tweet um, to a hundred, uh, which was about ninety three hundred dollars U.S. dollars. Um, and that same year, and this was twenty nineteen. The same year in twenty nineteen, uh, he did it again, but he said he was gonna give it to a thousand, um, and that one got three million retweets. So a million less people were a million people were like, ah, I didn't That's get a last billion time. dollars you're gonna give away. 
Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. I don't know if he did it. I don't know if he did it. Also, there's questions about his ability to pay for some of the stuff he says he's doing. We'll get back to that. So okay. Anyways, he goes on the space flight and he says, um, so he gets this flight with uh, the Russian Space Federation um, and he says, hey, I'm going to do this flight. I'm going to go up to the International Space Station. He said, I'm going to be up there for a little bit. I will do 180 challenges that you guys can get on board this space station. How many crunches do you think I can do? <laughs> and so he goes up to the space station. Wait, that's real. He goes up to the space station. What are you talking about right now? He goes up to the space station and he comes back and he's still posting video video vlogs of him from this 2021 trip doing these 180 challenges that he got. And there are things like play this game, this ball game, whatever this game's called, where you have the Wait, little how old hammer. is this person? Uh, he was born in the 70s, 75. So, I mean, he's younger than my parents. I don't know how old your parents are. Um, here's another one where he put together a jigsaw puzzle, but he had to blur out the puzzle for the picture, I guess, because it was copyrighted. <laughs> Uh, well, because it's not complete. It's not real. <laughs> Here's another one where he. Uh, None of these pictures yo-yo. look real. None of these pictures look real. These all yo-yo. look incredibly yo-yo. photoshopped. Yo-yo. Space Station. Look Here's at one. that. Here's one where he played a drum. He's not in space. <laughs> he played a drum. All of these look like YouTube. Are these all the YouTube thumbnails? Yeah. I, mean, I was gonna say they all look Here's like one thumbnails. Where he played with this weird pirate toy. <laughs> Okay, so this is all Photoshop for the thumbnail. Okay, 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 okay. Because um, otherwise, this is not real. Here's what I love. Here's what I love. There's 180 of these challenges where he needed random things like this, and so he crawled on board. Imagine he crawled. Imagine. On- <laughs> Hold on, just stick with me. You've spent your entire career becoming an astronaut. You want to go to space and do real science. You want to figure out how the universe works. You want to figure out how quickly the universe is expanding. You want to be up in the elements of space, trying to figure out stuff so that Neil deGrasse Tyson can keep owning people in Twitter <laughs> debates. Okay, you're sending info back, and you're like, "Hey, nerds, here's how we're gonna live on Mars one day." And you spent your entire career sacrificing. You're in so much student debt. You cannot breathe, and now you're at the International <laughs> Space Station. You've earned a spot. You killed two kids in your graduate program so that you could be the top. They don't know that. And then one day, a billionaire boards the plane, plane, plane. boards the space, the space station, station, and is like, "Hey guys, I'm here to contribute to space." And they're like, "Really? Thank you so much for using your vast amount of wealth." To advance the the race for human knowledge, and he goes, "Oh no 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 no! You guys do your thing. I'm gonna play with a yo yo in the corner and film it for YouTube." <laughs> they're like they're like looking at like science things, and like we're gonna breathe the same oxygen. He's just hitting them in the back of the head with this yo yo and zero g. <laughs> He's being an annoying kid in the back of a minivan in space. In space, I just love the idea. Like this is all he did. 180 of these challenges, and like. Like he did a drum, which this looks more like, like a a concave like ring. I don't know what that is. That's not the kind of drum I think of when I think drums. But he brought large things on board this, and the access hatch. Yeah, he's got his like seven carry ons, <laughs> <laughs> and he's crawling. And they're like, "What do you need all that stuff for?" Oh, it's for my challenges. Oh, it's for my challenges. <laughs> <laughs> did they okay. T- did he tell you he was doing this? No, no. How no. long is he up there? How much time does he have to do to all these <laughs> to do all these challenges? I don't know. Actually, I think he was up there for about a week. Um, he did 180 <laughs> challenges in a week. Yeah, I mean, you do four or five of these a day. Oh, it, the challenge was literally play with a yo-yo. Like you can get that video done in five minutes, ten minutes. Okay. Um, so he's just a full work day doing these challenges while you're trying to do your science. <laughs> what else is he doing? <laughs> he does 180 of these. They're still coming out. Um, of his vlogs of what he did in the space station. Uh, you see there's a microphone over here. <laughs> Far left. <laughs> you see that's a microphone. I think that's for when they do their speeches back to like their presentations. Hello Earth. Yeah. We encountered aliens today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That was the challenge. He rolls in. He rolls into screen in the middle of this press conference, and he's like, "I built a fort in the space station, and no, no one, one knew." <laughs> <laughs> Behind him, there's just a giant blanket fort. I opened we one knew. of the doors. 
for my last challenge. I opened one of the uh, doors and it cost NASA thirteen point eight billion dollars. I did one hundred and seventy nine <laughs> stupid tasks and one really bad one. <laughs> the first ever act of space terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> So he's back. Yeah, so he's and back just now. releasing these every week. Yeah, he's releasing these every week to his his uh, Twitter. So which, basically, by the way, his he, he spends so much money to get three years worth of content. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm trying to become a YouTuber. Uh, no, his Twitter handle is you suck MZ. Um, the way you would spell you suck. Um, oh, <laughs> it's not like yeah, it's you suck MZ as his Twitter handle. And he's just tweeting these things. Uh, his videos. Um, they're doing pretty good. They're getting like a million and a half views every video. Sure. Um, he's got 1.3 million subscribers doing these um, vlogs of his experience in space, um, but th- none of this is the real reason I brought this guy up. All this is backstory. Hey, thanks for being part of this episode. Uh, if you want to help us do more of this, you want to help us grow our show. One of the easiest and best ways to do that is to join our Patreon. Uh, it's a way for you financially to support the show, and you get a lot in return. You get access to our Discord channel. You get bonus content that comes out. Uh, you get exclusive merchandise and like live Zoom hangouts where we're both just hanging out, eating pizza, just getting to know each other. The biggest thing is, is we want to know you uh, more as an individual and as a friend. So thanks for supporting our show. If you don't support us financially, we're not pressed about it. We're not like mad, um, but I'll find you. So text till to six, six, eight, six, six to keep yourself from being found. All right, because if you don't, I will hunt you down. <laughs> I want you to know about Deer Moon. Yeah, I saw the patch on his <clears throat> hoodie. Yeah, so he's got his Deer Moon project. Um, here's the uh, the footer from his website. <laughs> I don't know that that's much better. better. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, this is a little bit bigger this version. So who are these people? (laughs) Those are Zozo suits. Those are Zozos. Um, No, so the Deer Moon project. um, This was an idea he had uh, where he said, you know what what this world needs more of. It needs more artists space tourism. No, it needs more artists that are creating unbelievable works of art because he's a big art fan uh, and he says, but all the artists today, their industry plants, their industry <laughs> <laughs> drones. Yeah, all their art Stupid. is for money. We got to find the, the random artists <clears throat> floating in space. Well, well, what he says is he's like we need to inspire them and he's like, he's like, so I want to put together a project called Dear Moon designed to inspire 11 of the earth's greatest artists by taking them on a trip around the moon to see something that no other artist has ever seen so they could come back to earth and bless earth with the art that comes from what they see. I volunteer on the other side of the moon. (laughs) Jaren's comedy career really took off after he saw the other side of the moon. Um, so he's is this 11 different trips? No, this is a he wants it to take 11 artists one trip on one trip. Leave the earth fly 11 the moon, of the greatest artists. Take a tr- Yeah, take yeah. a take a that loop. sounds like a movie I've seen <laughs> one movie. <laughs> I don't know 11 of the or the world's greatest artists are on a spacecraft that's stranded in space oceans 11. <laughs> Space is eleven. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Orbit's eleven. Orbit's eleven. Ah, oh, dang, that was a good. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So he trademark. Pet <laughs> 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 bending. <laughs> nah, you can't use that. Uh, so he wants to take him on a trip from Earth out around the backside of the Moon and back. So it would be the farthest any humans ever gone in space, because uh, no humans passed the Moon, and so he wants to go all the way around the back, the dark side of the Moon. And come back, uh, and he thinks that that would make the artists contribute something to society that's never been contributed before. And so, I don't know. Have you seen what Buzz Aldrin paints? It's not great stuff, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we gave him some paint. We were like, yeah. "You've you've, you've seen a lot you've of stuff. Seen some stuff. Yeah. He's got no artistic ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just an astronaut." Mm-hmm. So he makes this press yeah. conference, 
Sure. And he says, here's what I want to do. I want to bring a bunch of artists to well, space. I mean, who decides who the 11 greatest are? Well, he says it's subjective. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, here's what happens. He does this press conference and he says, he says, we're all going to vote. It's a spaceship. It's an artist. It's a moon. <laughs> A space. <laughs> so wait, the spaceship is the artist in this thing. It's also the moon. <laughs> spaceship <laughs> moon. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. So he's he he kind of briefs the idea. Sure. Gets the idea on the the ethos. <laughs> he says, "Here's here's what I'm thinking," and then he says, "Applications are open. Go to dearmoon.earth, which is a." <laughs> okay. I guess when you like have that much money, taken. you can just own the internet. You know, like. <laughs> Go to dearmoon.earth to apply. If you're an artist, apply. Send us your portfolio. Let us see what you've created. Sure. And then we're going to select the top. Twenty-eight thousand people applied. Um, artists from all over the world, all walks of life. Um, and he said, "We're now seeking assistance from any government space program. There's a handful in the world to help us pull this off." He said, "I'll pay for it." He said, "But I think this will really help humanity." And every government space organization in the world said, that's a dumb idea. We're not wasting our time. That's on that. dumb. But luckily, there was one guy who loves dumb ideas. Um, <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was going to come up with this. I knew it. <laughs> and so Elon said, well, wouldn't you know, we have a space company and we're trying to get to Mars. This would be a Which perfect is further. This would be a perfect test flight for us. And so he says, we're working at the time. It was his Falcon Heavy. He said, we can take you up there in the Falcon Heavy around the moon and back and you're 11 artists. And he says, we probably could do it by the end of 2024. Um, okay, when did he say that? <clears throat> this was 2018 when they announced the project. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. And so uh, I don't know if I believe anything that Elon Musk does is real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you know what? Do you ever regret well. that we had an episode about him? Because we I had an episode about him Early. back. 2017 early Elon. before he was like, hey, I before got he was I'm a crazy famous. person. Yeah. 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 Well, he was still a crazy person, but he wasn't he hadn't exposed himself as much yet. Sure. He was still kind of impressive at the time. Now now it's now you realize that I mean like yeah. sure. I mean if you shoot a hundred things, you're going to hit two. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and this is one of them he might hit. Um, so now it's now it's not the Falcon heavy. Um, but it's the other one that they're working on. Falcon right? light. No, <laughs> only nine to five calories. <laughs> <laughs> they went woke though, and now you can't find them on any store oh, shelves. <laughs> shoot, dude! I shot down the Falcon light in the name of my politics. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, uh, mission failed because Kid Rock <laughs> shot the Falcon Light out of the sky. But I think you're right. Falcon Light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so uh, they uh, they're they're working together. SpaceX is working to figure out how to get them there, um, and they're going to take to the dark side of the moon. The yeah, to the dark side of the moon and back, so that way they can make really good art. Um, and so throughout the past five years, he's been working on the marketing and the logistics of the mission and putting together his crew, his dear moon artist crew. Um, and at the end of the year last year, 2022, he announced his selections and these are them. The 11 artists oh. that will make history. <laughs> this is a very oh. blurry picture. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I know you recognize at least one of them. I... <laughs> okay. Here, here's a here. Let me get a higher. I noticed that there's only ten people behind him. Yeah, so he counts as eleven now. He's the eleventh. Yeah, he's the artist. Yeah, he's he's like he's like surprise. I'm the eleventh artist. <laughs> Let's go through the names because I want you to say it for the audio listener. Yeah. So hold on. Um. Here's a higher res image. Um. So we're going to go through this. Uh, so here is the artists that he has coming with him on the dear moon trip. Sure. Um, so mission specialist Choi Song Hyun, uh, who is also known as by his stage name T.O.P., uh, who is a South Korean rapper. He's the guy with the purple hair. Um, apparently very famous in South Korea. Uh, sure. Mission specialist Dev Joshi. Um, who is the guy on the second from the right over there? 
Um, he is a Indian filmmaker um, or, or Indian actor. Second from Film the right? and television actor. Yeah, second, second the right. from the right. Got it. I yeah, thought you said second, from second the right. to the right. I was like, what? Yeah, second to the right. He's a Bollywood actor. Okay. Um, mission specialist Brendan Hall, um, who I'm not sure which one he is or what he's famous for. Um, he doesn't have a Wikipedia page. I'm going to guess he's the one in the orange hoodie. No, that's <laughs> actually not. I know who that is. Um, oh, Kareem. Alaya, I believe um, she's a mission specialist. Also don't know which one <laughs> uh, that one is. Doesn't have a, a page. Uh, Rhiannon Adam is a writer and a photographer. Um, I don't know which one she is, but she does have a Wikipedia page. She just does have, have her picture on it. Uh, Yemi AD is the dude second from like on this side right next to the purple hair. Uh huh. Um, he is a Czech choreographer. Okay, so it might have some good <clears throat> dance moves that comes out of this mission specialist Tim Dodd, who's a YouTuber known as Everyday Astronaut. That's the dude yes, in the orange Um And then <laughs> pilot Steve Aoki. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pilot. That's, the, that's the first person I saw. Pilot. pilot. They're teaching him to fly. They're thing. not though. I mean, he's going to do the same thing he does on stage, which is just push buttons <laughs> and throw the cake. <laughs> They're like you threw a cake on the windshield. He's like, yeah, it's my thing. Yeah, <laughs> open the door. I'm gonna throw it on the moon. <laughs> I threw a cake. That's like kind of my deal. One of their backups. Just think they have a backup. Two oh, backup. Cool. Here's your people. alternate. Yeah. So there's um, a specialist named Miyu from Japan. I don't know who sh- who he or she is. I'm not sure what Miyu so is. So you're saying there's a world and where Caitlin our Farrington. there's a universe where our podcast could have grown so much that we could have been apparently because apparently, this is not. <laughs> Okay. I mean, Steve Aoki is pretty famous, and so is T.O.P. You no, know, I get that. Everybody else in here. I mean, there are people who don't would have Wikipedia pages. You put pages. Steve Aoki in the top eleven artists of the world. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing is he was selected to be the pilot. <laughs> Steve I mean, Aoki. Did someone just look at CDJs and go, "Those look like"? Spaceship buttons. Yeah, you probably know how to do. This he knows already. how to do it if yeah, it's labeled. He pushes a lot of buttons. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and, I mean, and some of these people—they're writers. They're this looks like the new season of Survivor. <laughs> this looks like, the, yeah, it does. Or Lost, like a Lost promo. Or the challenge. Yeah, the it challenge. looks like the it challenge, looks like yeah. uh, CBS the challenge. Which honestly, given his last trip to Mars, he might make this a reality TV show. Yeah, he's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna vote him off the ship. <laughs> push him out the, the airlock. <laughs> the crew has spoken. Stevie Oki's going to push you out the airlock now. <laughs> you just see him. Cake hits him in the face. <laughs> in space, space cake. Well, it's because he threw it like four days ago, <laughs> yeah, but it's just but out it's there. Still just you know, because it doesn't really move. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And the, the speed that it hits him at <laughs> is <absurd. laughs> space speed, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so these guys allegedly, uh, they haven't changed the timeline right now. Uh, allegedly, right now, these people are training for their mission. They're doing all the like. You're in the saying machine that Steve Aoki is on tour <laughs> and in his free time is training to pilot a spaceship to space. Mind you, it's a spaceship that hasn't successfully launched. Every time they've launched it, it's blown up so far, and so that's the one he's gonna pilot. Yeah, now they're down to these eleven people. <laughs> And so what here's, here's the thing. Elon says that they want to want to carry a hundred successful satellites to space using this spacecraft before they carry these people to the moon. They haven't successfully done uh, one. Yeah, taken off without exploding. So there's no way they're going to do it in 2024. That's the timeline, the public timeline that they're sticking to 2024. I, if it's good, if it's like 50 years from now, I still want it to be Steve Aoki though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, according to MZ, the guy in the middle here, um, they're training. They're training, and at the end of 2024, these these ten artists are going to go see the dark side of the moon, and they're going to come back to Earth, and they're all going to get and murdered by the blow CIA. Blow our minds oh, with wait, what no, they've yeah, seen. Yeah, what you said. They're going to make really good art <laughs> that we'll never see. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, <sighs> I love this idea. I love it so much. Um, that's Yasuku, Yas, Yasaku, uh, 
Ma, Mazewa, uh, Mazawa, MZ. He goes by MZ. You can find him at You Suck NZ on Twitter. And this is the YouTube. <laughs> Or on Zozo Town, buy yourself a Zozo suit today. Tillin.com slash Zozo suit. Can you think we can get sponsored by them? Anytime that you wonder about the, you know, hunger crisis in the world or how many people need clean water, just think about Steve Aoki <laughs> and the incredible beat drop that we would get if he's able to see the dark side of the moon. Here's the thing. Dark side of the moon. <laughs> you know, and like that would change humanity. <laughs> I believe. He doesn't even have to go. We know exactly what he's going to do. He's going to take that entire record, Dark Side of the Moon, and just remix it. And that's going to be his art. We all know that's what he's going to do. He doesn't have to go. He's actually probably already finished it. They've already been. <laughs> That's the conspiracy. <laughs> they're going to have a they're going to have a presentation. The whole conspiracy is that the reason we know who they are <laughs> is because they went 15 they're years ago. People, they're moon people. They're moon people. You're okay. Yeah. Hold on. You're going the route that <laughs> we landed around, and he said he said bring me your artists. Buzz Aldrin brought back a small child, a the prodigy moon of EDM, up. if you will. The moon opened up, and they had and to make up some bizarre story about his dad rose. owning the freaking Benihana's <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> like, where are we going to say this? Kid like, where does kid come from? Uh, the Benihana guy. <laughs> the Benihana guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And then the guy who invented Benihana's was like. I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's my. I honestly don't know how many kids I have, son. and you're like, sure, <laughs> dude. The, I mean, he's a ladies' man, man. You yeah, can't. The, yeah. the the girls love when they flip. They flip the little shrimp tail in their hat. Yeah, yeah, that gets them. <laughs> you don't get the name Aoki without being a moon child. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we ended with some light racism. I like that about you. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, well, here's the thing. (laughs) Here's what I've heard. I've heard this at least. You know what I heard? What did you hear? I heard that the civilizations long before us had already gone to the moon. Yeah, they did. They had more advanced stuff than we had. Pyramids all over the dark side. And um, that's where we got the music of our day. Yeah. What which day? There's a lot of music like today. The current the music that we have now yeah. came from the moon people. Like Midwest salt grass. Yeah, that's actually, what, that's what they played on the moon. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked it, here's another one you can check out. And then down here is a bunch of other episodes you can watch. So make sure you click on that to watch forever. Uh, And then you can subscribe if you haven't done that already. It makes sure you don't miss an episode. Uh, Like this video, leave a comment, leave a review wherever you're watching, uh, and then subscribe or follow on whatever social media platform you prefer. Uh, We will be there.